grab on. I was off by like a pixel. That's why I said don't get attached until we get past level 5. Because this fucking game. Man, I even got damage boost. Yeah, that's how it usually goes with short games. Like, it's especially bad with this game because for this one, if you make a mistake at some points, just the run is over. It's just dead. Whereas, like, mistakes in some other short games, like, you can recover from them. But in this one, there's, like, you either get it or GG. Unless you want to do the level over again from the start, which I guess you technically can. From other games, you miss a jump and... Shit, 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 shit. Actually, good start, and then I run into the wall. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much RE4 1 1. My, uh. Uh, my Del Lago is, um. Mission 5. I thought that went well, and then that's a 139. All right. Uh. Actually, I've watched so many pitted runs of RE4 that yesterday I just I fired up um, RE4 on PC, and I was able to do the the speed strats right up until the the village, and then once the village starts, I have no idea what to do. I think you shoot the guy who is walking away from you five times. And then run to the house, I think. And or get like a grenade drop or something. And then get the shotgun or maybe throw a flash grenade. I didn't, I remember you have to shoot a bird to get a flash grenade. And then... I think the new strat is before you go in the house, you stack everybody up on like the, the fence and then... Grenade them there, I think. Remember the old strat was going inside of a house and throwing a grenade off of a wall into a window? Like, that should be a, a stream series of, like, stream watchers try to do the speed route with zero practice and just from watching, watching runs. Got Jar Jar skip. Like have that at a GDQ between runs or something. I, I've watched so and so speedrun Super Mario 64 10,000 times. Who's the guy trying to do it? And we all laugh at him. <laughs> Or find, like, the biggest shit talkers in a Mario chat or something, and then have them try the run. But I don't think that would be a GDQ. <laughs> that might be an ESA thing. Yep, spooky ghost glitch. Well, once you once you know exactly how to do it, those glitches are are easy, especially if like you know what buttons to press. Okay, got it. Yeah, I bet a lot of you probably do some at least some of the route of Shenmue 2. All right, here we go. Not that it's a hard speed game or anything. I would hardly call Shenmue 2 difficult. The hard part about Shenmue 2 is routing it.
Why is this last one not dead? Why am I almost dead? Alright. Five fifteen, fifteen plus twenty seven or twenty four. What's fifteen plus twenty four? I can't math. All right, mathologist. Uh, thirty nine. Thirty nine, I think. I'm gonna go at thirty eight though. We're gonna live dangerously. Okay. We did it. Yeah, me and Pitted, like, I think our ancestry is also similar. So it's, it's bizarre. Me and Pitted are like long lost cousins or something. Because I think he said he's part Scandinavian. And I do. I am at least a quarter Scandinavian. No, the, the bird isn't a Q, it's a, uh, it's a trigger, actually. There's an invisible trigger um, that I cross, and it triggers two things. It triggers, one, the bird to make the sound and fly off, and the second thing is um, it causes that set of four, or actually three things. It causes the second set of four um, battle droids to spawn, and it also causes Qui-Gon to spawn, so three things. Um, but in order for the, the level to end, Jar Jar also has to be... Um, finished walking and in that scene. So that's why I have to wait for him. To get past the, uh, the three battle droids. Hello? Yeah, math is hard. Math has never been a strong point. Even simple addition, I struggle with. <laughs> Like, actually struggle with, which makes programming real fun. Especially with colleagues that are practically mathologists. And look at, look at me like I'm a fucking idiot, having trouble with arithmetic, but... Born that way, it's not my fault. <laughs> I didn't get the math gene. Alright, here we go. First try, boys. Alright. Yeah, I think, like, either me or Pitted are time travelers. And if we ever, like, meet in person, the universe will probably explode, so... Should probably not ever have that happen. Alright, let's get this box clip first try. Alright, first try box clip, let's do it. So the positioning here needs to be correct. Alright, second try I'll take. <laughs> so again, I figured that out yesterday, that in order to properly... Yeah, box clip. In order to properly do that clip through the box... Oh god, I almost clipped out of bounds. Um, in order to do that clip, I have to jump twice to slow down the game's frame rate to make the clip easier. jump too soon there. Okay. <sighs> I've never seen Time Cop. Sounds like I should watch this. I hear a lot about Time Cop. Oh man, pit it. Man, Pitted, I am hyped because the, the Chargers finally 
signed their their top uh, top draft prospect to a contract. <laughs> Meanwhile, he missed out on all of camp apparently. Though I expected nothing less from the Chargers. That's pretty awesome that just straight up draft prospects can can refuse to sign their contracts to get a better deal. Just how like you'd assume they'd be they'd be grateful to even be able to play professionally on a professional team and be paid a lot of money for it. But some of these guys still fucking hold out straight out of college on their contracts, just it's mind-boggling that that is a thing. Alright, this is going to be an okay Oto Gunga. And... Gold Split, boys. Alright. Oh, that's not going to be a thing for next year? So this is the last year where they can do the... Um... The contract bullshit. Well, that's good. I'm glad they did that. Because I don't think I've ever heard of anything like that happening in, uh... Uh... NBA stuff. Wait, Tony Romo actually got injured? All I heard was they had to pull him out of the game early. He actually got injured? Oh man, either you or I needs to get a Jerry Jones emote, because a Jerry Jones F of Z emote. Because I would just use the fuck out of that thing. Like, Jerry Jones has steam coming out of his ears. Would be like the perfect emote for anything. Okay. World record is on screen on screen, please Rooster. Yeah, apparently the, the Cowboys backup quarterback is, is pretty good, so I don't see why they need that. Thank you for the host, Matt. M underscore TT. Welcome. Alright, so once we get past this level, then we can get on world record hype train, but we gotta get past this horseshit level. <laughs> like, what's gonna go wrong on this level, this time? Uh... Yep. Yeah, so for FZ emotes, it needs to get Rooster Face and then submit a Jerry Jones emote. I'm sure Jerry won't mind. <laughs> She probably got shot. Yep, she did. Of course she did. <laughs> uh. All right. So I also figured out that you can you can jump from up here, but then you still have to go back to get her to follow you. Still there? No, of course not. 
That would be silly. safely move the tank, because she's kind of in the, the spot she needs to be in. Oh, it's because the chargers are doing weird things? Well, that's shocking. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Please, no! Why is she... Talk to me! Oh god. Oh my god. I might die here. If I get shot too many times. Alright, I'm gonna have to play this so safe. Okay. Didn't die. Holy shit, that was so close to me dying. I am one hit away from dying. Actually, one of those droids could shoot through the floor and kill me. Before I get to the health here. Alright, please. Okay. In there. Of course she isn't moving. Alright. So far so okay. <laughs> this this could have gone quite a bit better. But it could have gone much worse. Alright, let's get this dumb jump. Okay. Whew. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the average. Yeah. Uh, the times are weird in this game because this is a weird game. <laughs> All right. Let's see if this grenade doesn't fall through the ground. <laughs> Sick, sick. All right. Okay, here's here's the part where everything can just blow up. We're actually on good pace. <laughs> please die, please. Please be in here, please. Thank you. Oh god. If this guy wasn't here, the run would be over. Alright. We're now officially in there.
Okay. Please talk to me. Sometimes she just doesn't talk to you. And then sometimes she doesn't follow you, because that would be silly. No, no, uh, instead of kicking them in the face, I actually have a glitch activated called Infinite Saber Glitch. Please, hello? Let's go. Hello. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Okay. Good lord. Okay, we're still a minute and a half ahead. Oh my god. Alright, now we can get on the world record hype train. Um, I have a glitch activated called Infinite Saber Glitch. Um, if you swing your lightsaber, there's like a, a light trail that follows the blade. Um, if you interrupt your swinging animation by falling off of something, or just like any sort of interrupt happening, um, your lightsaber stays in the state where the game thinks it's being swung all times. Um, so then your lightsaber actually works as a movie lightsaber. Um, so it does damage all the time. And uh, the damage is applied from the hitbox of the lightsaber. It's kind of the same way that when you swing it, if an enemy's too close to you, you swing your arms through the enemy instead of your lightsaber hitting it. Because that's how they programmed the, the collision to work in this game. Um, so while you have your lightsaber out, it's always doing damage, just even if you have it like this. Um, so you stand inside the hitbox of enemies uh, with your lightsaber out, and it's um, every frame doing damage to the enemy. But I can attack them without visibly attacking them. And it's how, um, how we do most of or two of the boss fights in this game. Alright, so there I got infinite lightsaber glitch. So now, if everything works out correctly, I can just walk into these Tuscan Raiders and they they keel over. <laughs> like that. Alright, stay away from Padme. Stay away from Jar Jar. So, uh, the way one of my runs earlier died is um, one of these Tuscan Raiders jumped up and out of bounds and fell through the world and died. Um, and that caused the game to crash because in order for Padme to start running, there's a flag the game needs to set. Hold on, this is important. Huta, huta. Um, there's a flag the game needs to be set for Padme that, is it safe to run or not? And when the game was probably trying to calculate is it safe to run or not, one of the Tuscan Raiders was currently falling through the entire world. And instead of, like, the flag being triggered, um, the game just froze. <laughs> Which, alright, that's an acceptable solution to that problem, I guess, but it kind of killed a run. A run that was on okay pace, I think, if I remember correctly. I was a little mad about it, but I've learned I can't get too mad at this game, because this game does what it wants. Not what I want. So I jump over um, some of the NPCs in this area because uh, the guys just on the street will push you and uh, that does damage to you and just knocks you back a little bit. Um, and I jump over the kids because the kids want to talk about wizard stuff like pod racing and blasters and sand. That's wizard Annie. I don't think that's very wizard, so I skip those kids. Also, I wait there for Anakin to get over there. Otherwise, a trigger does not does not work. Oh god, the gonk droid! I looked at chat for a second because I thought I was fine, but then the gonk gonked me. We got gonked on, boys. Alright, so now I gotta wait until Watto finishes his business here, and then he'll talk to us. Alright, here, T14. 
If I answer the first option there... Um, yeah, this is faster. Huh. Okay, so it is faster here if you just mash through that and you don't select the um, 1 and 2. Interesting. Uh... Yeah. In conclusion, this game is busted. Alright. So, for this, um, the trigger to end this scene is Jar Jar getting to his, um, his spot in front of Watto's store. But before I do that, I need to straight up murder this guy. Steal the thing from his shop. There is currently a Jawa aggroed on me, so I need to hide out in the store so the Jawa isn't attacking me. I'm jumping to see if Jar Jar makes it next to Padme, and then once he gets there, there's a Jar Jar line, and then I can talk to Anakin to end the level. So that's how that all needs to go. So it's it's kind of weird. Um, it kind of looks easy when you're just looking at the the world records and PB videos for this, like, oh, this this must be simple, but... A lot of things need to happen in a very specific order at specific timings for this level to um, allow you to complete it. So. It looks easy, but it's actually not so simple for this one. And then this one, it's just a bunch of jumping out of bounds, which that is comparatively simple for this game. We're going to jump through this fence because we're a Jedi. We can do anything. All right, come on. There we go. And then here I need to get clipped into the wall by this pit droid. That. And I guess one of the, the crappy things about this dialogue system is that uh, you can move the cursor for the dialogue options before um, it's shown on screen, and it can screw up everything. Alright, let's not die to this guy again. Boy, was that stupid. Okay, that was close, but we almost, <laughs> we did it. All right. I wasn't clipped out of bounds properly there. So if you screw this up, you could just fall through the world and die. Um, I'm not safety saving here, because this isn't that hard, but if you screw that up, you can fall through the world and die. And here... <laughs> Didn't go far enough to the right. This is pod racing. Okay. We're pretty much almost home free in this level. Almost. When I'm fighting the boss here, um, the grenades can disappear before they hit the boss. And I need four, at least four out of five grenades to hit the boss, otherwise I'll just die. Because he can do a lot of damage to you very quickly. 
and I only have five grenades. But the game can do the thing where it just decides, hey, that grenade, it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Oh god, okay. One of those grenades went over his head, but we're okay, we're fine. Uh... Okay, save a second, I'll take it. <sighs> Thank you, Matrix. Yeah, the, the speedrun is crazy for this game, like... Oh, the speedrun is infuriating to do, but... Man, when the, when a run comes together, it's so good. But yeah, this like, if it weren't for some of the the bullshit that can happen in this run, I would really recommend this as a speed game to people. But now that I know all of the tragedy that can happen in this game, uh, I don't know. But God, it's such a good speed game though. This is like the, the Super Mario 64 and the Zelda Ocarina of Time rolled into one, except on PlayStation, in terms of speed game. And I am mostly serious about that. This run is so good. Alright. I just need to get the cutscene skip here. Yeah, my neck hurts. Hmm. I honestly didn't think I would be spending... What is this? We're already five and a half hours into attempts here. I thought I would only be doing like... Hey, we're gonna do two runs of this and then I'm gonna get world record and then fine, everything's fine. I guess I didn't account for, man, this game likes to crash. Got it. We even got it quickly, too. Alright, here's the time for the epic battle with Darth Maul. My favorite game to run? Um... This one's up there. Uh... So this one's up there. Dagger Falls up there. Um... Shenmu Two is maybe up there. Uh... I say Purry. Um, I don't really care how it's pronounced though, so you can say it however you want. Um, and Puri Puri is from uh, the Japanese dub of Naruto, hot anime. Um, the episode was in the end of the Chunin exam where uh, the fight between Gara and Sasuke is broken up. And the one of Kakashi's ninja dogs um, hold up, holds up his paw, or his paw and says, Puri Puri. And I thought that was incredible. So then I thought, hey, how about I make that my internet handle now? That's what it was. It's a hot anime handle. But I don't care how you pronounce it, because I've heard, like, five different pronunciations of it, so... Eh. Oh, I almost forgot. This way, your highness. We have some hover candidates to play with. Alright, so we, we learned last time that the queen needs to be on the hover bus. And... Okay, so she's not kneeling. We can what talk to yes, talk please. to robot. Very good, sir. Start the hover the space bus. Alright. 
All right, space buses move in. Queen is not dead yet. Good. Okay. I'm glad I did that science earlier regarding the space bus. Do you think it is safe to proceed? It is safe. Well, to me, Shenmu really ran its course. Like, I did Shenmu runs for a very, very long time. Shenmu 2, I mean. I also did Daggerfall runs for a very long time. And I don't really have a desire to go back to both. No. Somebody new is learning, um learning Shenmue 2 and somebody new is learning Daggerfall so I'm not jumping down there if you got a desire for either one of those there is fresh blood in the water for both of those both of those runs we have to get out of here um Captain Panaka has a melee attack if for whatever reason you don't have any weapons or anything um, he's actually got punches and kicks. More hover cannons will be coming. Oh yeah, I, I don't think I'm ever gonna escape the, the Shenmue guy thing. Though whenever Shenmue three comes out, that'll we'll be in there. I will absolutely stream Shenmue three. We have to get out of here. But the game's got to come out first. <laughs> Minor detail. They'll be coming back soon. Up Google Fight Club, it's pretty good. Like if it weren't for the the gambling luck in Shenmue 2 out of here. and the tree and the thrilling conclusion, I would love doing that run a lot more. But we got to the point in Shenmue where it's just like, let's roll the dice, let's see what RNG the tree gives us, and They'll then be coming back soon. after that, what literal RNG is it going to give us for the literal gambling we have to win? For the, the run to not die. Alright, good. Must Health hurry. is good for the boss. Yep, there's always people. <laughs> Remember that hot week of, of overblood runs? Um, if I'm gonna be submitting overblood to AGDQ, then I need to refresh on that back one. Soon. Cause remember, I'm not the world record holder in overblood anymore. I'm only the world's second best overblood player now. I'm really hungry. Okay. Got any spare food? We have to get out of here. This way. I'm really hungry. Got any spare food? All right. Actually hit the buttons this time. Yep, those dialogue. <laughs> More hover cannons will be coming. Hey, Mister. I don't have any food. Yeah, that we must hurry. Okay. Minor. We have to get out of here. We must hurry. Is it left? Shit, is it left or right? It's right. Good thing I jumped. Alright. I almost went in the wrong one again. We have to escape before they get back. Be coming back soon. Hey, can you, can you spare, spare some, some credits? credits? We have to get out of here. Lead on. They'll be coming back soon. We have to get out of here. We need to find our weapon. So the, right I believe the queen can like knock you off that bridge if you're not careful either. I should probably play that a little bit more safe because that Hover switches on the trigger anyways. Or it's on a timer. We must hurry. They'll be coming back soon. More. We have to get out of here. They'll be coming. Still love that you could just jump on top of the level there. Okay, boss, don't kill me. Also, I need to select the right option here. You have attempted to gain Horizon has lovely sunsets. Thank you. More hover cannons will be coming. We 
must reach Senator Palpatine's chambers as soon as possible. All right. More I think that went okay. Will be coming. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the December 2017 is probably going to be the demo. Um, or the beta, whatever they're going to call the, the playable backer thing. Have to get out of here. And if I had to guess, maybe mid-2018 for the, the full release, but... You never know with these things. Something might come up. We must hurry. All right. Hopefully, we get some good dialogue here. There's the Senate chamber. Yeah, that fight went fine. That password's the same every time. Out of here. Um, there is a guy at the very start of the underground part that tells you the the password because you actually have to use it multiple times. But there's a guy you talk to. That just tells you the Your password. Highness, you're quite late. I was worried. They'll be coming back soon. Hello, Senator. Thank you for allowing me to address the Senate. My oh, pleasure, Your Highness. However, I fear that it will do All no right, good. Here we go. While a fair man, Supreme Chancellor Valorum, has shown that he lacks resolve. So if I get a sub he fifty has been here, able to convince the Senate to help or us. We're putting a bullet in Star Wars, unless this gets into Surely there must be AZQ. something we can do. Naboo is suffering. We may be able to get a quicker resolution. So if you don't like watching me do this run, then, no confidence, then hold on to your butts. Able to remove Valorum and elect someone with more authority. More hover cannons will be coming. If that is right. what it takes to free my people, Senator, then that is what I'll do. <sighs> Excellent, Your Highness. Let's do this. Right this way, the Senate is about to convene. All right. Grip on the controller. Skip the cutscene. Uh, I, too, have a pretty bad memory, um, which is why for most of the games that I run, I have notes for it. Some are more extensive than others. Like, as long as you remember the general gist of the run, then you're good. But, like, my my condensed set of notes for Alundra is still, like, 12 pages long. Um. That should work. But, oh, it would have worked. Okay. One, two. Okay. Lost a bit of time there because I had to. It took a bit to clip into that thing. So I have like an additional at least a minute to save on this level. So. At least a minute. I think I have like a minute and a half to save here. That, that soldier. <laughs> I think I should still be at full health here after I get the both power ups. You can do it. You can do it. This is pretty much the... Sometimes that one just... Oh, fuck. Alright. I can probably do the clip again. Alright. That was some spaghetti. Oh god, please clip me out. Please. I'm gonna have less health than I normally would. Let's actually get our gun out. Oh my god. So I'm really going to need that extra health here. I'm gonna need it like here too. Okay. We're fine, everything's under control. These. 
Okay, everything's under control, we're fine. Okay, under control. problem. One health, no big deal. No problem. We're fine. Have a setup for this. I just need to stay calm, use the force. Use the force, trust the setup. Yeah. All right, and we're here way before this gets here. <laughs> Um, I turned the voices on in Coruscant because memes. That's the only reason why. It would be faster to leave them off, but because memes. There's no speedrun reason to have them off. So these aren't a fixed cycle. This much I could have done about that. Okay, now I just need to not choke this, and then we're good. I got a really bad saber glitch here. You can see how quickly his health is going down. I should have gone with the faster version. Forty-eight thirty-five. <laughs> I could have I could have done the saber glitch much better there. He actually almost killed me. The run was almost over. He almost killed me there. I was a little worried. I didn't. I tried not to show it, but. He could have killed me there <laughs> if he swung the lightsaber a couple more times. Oh my god. Alright, well my goal was sub 50 and 48.35. Um, the second place emulator run is 47 something. Um, and that one had a ton of mistakes. This one didn't really have that many mistakes, so... Oh god. So yeah, emulator runs, just remove them, because they're, they're not at all accurate to, to the game. But we did it. Uh, my estimate for the marathon run of this is one hour, though, because we know what can happen with this game. <laughs> So before I started running this, the console world record was uh, 57.07 uh, by St. Million, and that stood for like a year. And then I improved it, what, like five days ago to um, 52 something, and now 40, 48, 35, so in there.
All right, we gotta let the the credits go to the the full loop once we see George Lucas credited. All right, so this means that I'm pretty much done with with episode one, unless it gets into AGDQ, and then I'll practice it as much as I need to, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, I have the PC version as well, though the speed run for that is um, like 90% of the, the clips you can do in the PS1 version don't work on the PC version. So um, the PC version looks better, but <laughs> that's that's about about it. Um, so as far as, like, upcoming speedrun stuff, let's go over that stuff. Um, I want to see if I can... One, I want to casually play through Dark Savior on the Saturn. Because I not only have the US version, I also bought the Japanese version because I figured I'd probably speedrun this. Um, a game called Linkle Liver Story on Saturn. It literally says Linkle Liver Story. Um, the game is actually called Wrinkle River Story, but <laughs> but somebody thought they knew English pretty well on the dev team and decided to make the English name that. Um, one of these days, I want to try making a full game route of this. Elibits on the Wii. Um, this is called LEDs in Europe. Because um, I think this might be an interesting run. In a lot of ways. Uh, let's see. And then last but not least, FF12. Got my deluxe metal box of this. I don't know where the game disc went, I just have the bonus disc. I got the game disc somewhere. <laughs> but that one is going to be on the, on the to-do list. Hey Twispy, yeah I beat world record. Got the new world record. Uh, I I stopped working on the input thing for Saturn because it damaged my um, my Saturn. Like here, I got the. Uh... Here is my U.S. Sega Saturn. This is the one I had to open up and repair the controller port on because I burnt it <laughs> by screwing around with my my thing. And then I also have a Japanese Sega Saturn for just running um, a liver linkle story and games like that without having to screw around with mod chips and boot discs and all that. So I am fully prepared for US and Japanese Sega Saturn runs. And I don't know. There's there's some stuff in Dream on Dreamcast I'd still like to look into at some point, but that'll be further down the line. Did it show George Lucas? Oh yeah, it's got to show my in-game time too, I forgot. This shows in-game time. My in-game time is uh, 2 hours 74 minutes and 1 probably second. And what those numbers are next to the times, I have no idea. <laughs> this is... The... All of this just makes no sense, but um, apparently the rating at the top is a rating of how fast you went, and Jedi Master is the, the top rank. You can also get a rank called Cheater, if you cheat. Um, but it's Jedi Master, Jedi Knight, uh, Padawan, and then Jawa, I think? Or Nerf Herder, maybe? Um, yeah, LCC. Yeah, it is a pretty good PB. Um, I'm actually close to the emulator time, which if you know how much faster EPSXE runs rather than console, that's, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, my, my sixth completed run. <laughs> oh god. What a great speed game. Okay, well, we're putting a bullet 